Hello everyone, welcome to Gossip Railworks. My name is James and today we'll be working on another 3D printed kit. This one being the LSWR02 class, Adam's design. Uh, this will come in two varieties. This is the uh, mainland version, so it has the uh, old stay pipe chimney, old type bunker and no other equipment on. And the uh, Isle of Wight version has the extended bunker, uh, the newer chimney and it has the air cylinder on the side here. I think there is a few other minor changes, but uh, I don't think I remembered adding them. But uh, otherwise, that's the main differences. And uh, yeah, it will fit on the Depo M7 sassy. Unfortunately, this is still the old one, because uh, by the time of recording, uh, they still haven't released the new one. And I'm most annoyed, so I have to use the old one. It's still not a bad sassy, it just needs extra weight. So I will be adding weight inside of here. And that fits on quite nicely. And the only work which I need to do to sassy is basically sorting this by about uh, half a centimetre or so. So not too much work. So I'll just take that off. So I'll just pop that there. And the only work which I need to do to the actual body is to first of all drill all the holes, which I'll be doing in a moment. Fitting all the handrails, which I'll be doing afterwards. Painting it and then adding all the decals. And then finally finishing off with adding some coal. And that'll be pretty much it really. So uh, yeah, that's all the work to do. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
The LSW R02 class is a class of 044 tank locomotive designed for the London Southwestern Railway by William Adams. 60 were constructed during the late 19th century. They were also the last steam locomotives to work on the Isle of Wight, with the final two being withdrawn in 1967. Adams was presented with a problem of a greatly increasing volume of commuter traffic experienced with the suburbanisation of London during the 1880s. This is worsened by the fact that there were few locomotive classes in the LSWR stable that could undertake commuter traffic at the desired level of efficiency. The LSWR therefore required a locomotive with the attributes of power and compactness, with a small wheel size to gain acceleration on intensive timetables. Adams set upon the 044 wheel arrangement to provide the basis of what has become the 02 class. The class was initially used intensively on London suburban services, but began to be replaced on these as early as 1897 by the introduction of more powerful Drummond M7 and T1 classes. As a result, the O2s were cascaded to lighter services and became distributed throughout the LSWR system. The class is usually best associated with the Isle of Wight railway system, with the Isle of Wight Central Railway making inquiries to the possibility of acquiring some class members in the early 20th century. After a withdrawal of the last LBSCR E1 class in 1960, the O2 became the only locomotive class on the island. They survived in service until the end of steam services on the island, with an O2 operating the final train on the 31st of December 1966. The Isle of Wight W24 Calborn is the sole survivor of the O2 locomotives. The rest of the class were scrapped. Right, here we are with the O2 now on my out, and uh, it's not looking too bad really. However, running it's not all that reliable because uh, unfortunately, uh, let me just try to get the body off with one hand. Yeah, had to uh, do a lot of work to the sassy just to get it to just get it all fitted in. Unfortunately, the A2 is quite small, so uh, you have to remove a fair amount and also make sort of clearance, and, uh, clearance for the uh, bogey wheels at the back. And then also make the bogey wheels even small, uh, shorter as well. So, yes, yeah, a lot of work there. So, I may have inadvertently damaged the uh, chassis, but uh, never mind, I, it does just about run. However, it doesn't like pulling itself. Uh, ooh, got a bit of life there. Let me turn up a bit more power. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
very, very intermittent. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop it for now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I wasn't really intending to use the old chassis anyway. Uh, hopefully the new one, when that comes out, will be a better replacement. Because, uh, yeah, this chassis is a bit, uh, it's a bit naff, really, but... Uh, it does, it does its job, but uh, it's far too light, and uh, there's not really much space in the uh, body to put uh, anything else really, because the motor takes up a large majority of the space here, and the motor is not all that heavy, so uh, yeah, I can't really add more weight to it. So I have filled up the boiler, but uh, that's about it really. But uh, I do intend to reuse the chassis for some other project uh, when the new Dapo M7s come out. Uh, then I can swap it around and hopefully be able to get this running with the new chassis. Just pop that back on there. So yeah, we'll have to see when uh, that comes out. But uh, yeah, hopefully. Otherwise, the. Uh, yeah, it looks quite nice really. I'm happy with it. I uh, did forget to add the coal, but uh, I'll add that uh, after the video really. It won't take too long. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Disappointed that it doesn't run as well as I hoped. I may need to uh, do a bit of uh, jiggery pokery just to uh, get things running. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it will sit there for a while till I get the uh, new sassies. But, um, yeah, do let me know what you think. But, uh, yeah, I uh, said so I do have ideas for what else to use the sassy for, so it's not going to be a waste. But, yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, well, if you do like it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, uh, if you don't like it, I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I hope to see you ever again next time. So, Take care now, and uh, yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, I'm not going to try to send it off. It's probably going to burst into flames. <laughs> so yeah, take care now.